Hey, folks, Quilly Team here, and a welcome to Let's Try Dota Auto Chess. So people have been trying to get me to play this mod for Dota 2 for a long, long time, and I can see why it is freakishly addictive. And I think part of the reason is, yes, there's a lot of strategy and a lot of different ways that you can build, but there's also just the right amount of randomness, which I think is part of its addictiveness and replayability. It's also fairly easy to play, it plays fast, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. Unless you run into some cheaters, but hopefully we won't... Um, um, in this particular game uh, here today. Now, the amount of time I've got to make some of my moves is fairly limited, and I found that uh, it's a lot harder to get everything done when I'm trying to talk, so let me go ahead and just start up over here. We're gonna go for an early, I'm just gonna pick up the Drow Ranger, and we'll talk about what's going on. So, Dota, of course, Dota 2 is a whole game on its own. Dota Auto Chess has absolutely zero to do with Dota, other than the fact that it's a mod that runs inside of Dota 2. There's nothing, nothing else going on. Dota 2 is free to play, and this mod is also free to play. This is a game that is divided up and around. There are eight players, and actually they pan around, and they can see everyone's little individual base over here and see what they're doing. Um, there are eight players, and what you're going to be doing every round is you're going to be picking from a pool of five different chess pieces. You can re-roll the pieces if you want. You've got money. You see gold over here. You start with one gold. Uh, you'll get more and more gold every round until it caps out to, I think, five gold per round. And then there's other bonuses for winning the rounds and whatnot. The first few rounds, you're just playing against some fixed NPC creeps, um, but after that, you'll mostly be paired up against another player at random. Now, uh, hold on, I gotta make another purchase here. I guess I could go for a couple of warriors or something, which won't be a bad front end. I really like to get early um, the goblin mech combo. Uh, we might be able to just pull that off if we go here, but I think what I'm gonna do, I'll spend two bucks, I'm gonna get two warriors, um, and I'll throw axe in there, um, but... Definitely not worried about committing too, too much at this point. So you can place your pieces anywhere on this chessboard, on your half of the chessboard, and the pieces move differently. They move from tile to tile. They attack automatically things that are nearby. Things will have maybe one ability. Sometimes it's a passive, like in the case of the Drow Ranger. Sometimes it's an active. But the most important thing I would guess about auto chess here is the fact that every one of these chess pieces that you can buy will have a race and a class. Some of the chess pieces actually have more than one race. For example, Puck is both an elf and a dragon. Um, but that's pretty unusual. I think um, Dragon Knight is a human Dragon Knight. Well, Knight's not a race, never mind. Um, hmm. We have like no combos presenting itself right now, but that's not the end of the world because, um, I mean, we might want to lock it and just hold on for a second, Witch Doctor, but uh, that's okay. The level one pieces, until you start doing some upgrades, they refund for 100% of their money. Actually, I think what I would like to do here is move over to one side of the board for this NPC round because there's going to be multiple dudes. And if I'm on the side of the board, we can focus our fire on that. Um, so the thing with the races and the classes, if we take a look at Tusk over here, who's sitting in my prepared area, um, you can have your, your, your level determines how many pieces you can have in play. 10 is the highest level. Wow, I'm going to lose this NPC round. That's great. Because I got, like, no, no, nothing good going on here. And I had some fairly low DPS pieces and low armor pieces. Like, it was kind of squishy. Anyway, um, Tusk is a beast. And if you have multiple different beasts, so multiple copies of Tusk doesn't do anything. But if I have multiple things that count as a beast, then, um, god damn, this is sucky. Uh, this is a troll, but troll warlock. I mean, two trolls does get an attack speed bonus for trolls. I do, usually I focus on the, um... The class first, though. I suppose if I grab Tiny, that'll give me three warriors. Um, these are pretty low-end warriors, but three warriors. Uh, and then uh, it'd be nice if I could have leveled up, but I'm going to pull these guys back. Um, three warriors, that's enough to activate their warrior ability where all wa all friendly warriors will get seven extra armor. And you'll actually see the buff raise up above their heads. I should have positioned them differently because these are all melee dudes. But all my warriors are going to have substantially more armor now and be quite a bit tougher. Um... And so that's the sort of thing you tend to do. Uh, I, I found that one of the things is don't be too afraid of making some changes early on. Though there, there's um, there's Tiny's ability to just knock people around. Not very useful there, but it's great for breaking up formations and stuff in other things. I mean, Tiny's not great. The characters do have tiers. Things that cost one, two, three, four, and finally five dollars. The higher tier ones are just better. The chance of getting the different tiers is based on your character's level. Um, but the thing is, if you want to, you know, get all your your race or class combos going on, you're going to get people from all kinds of different tiers going on. Um, big fan of hunters, and in particular, okay, I can get the sniper, another drow. 
Um, I guess I'll get an axe. We might do some like, oh, and Slardar is a warrior. Um, warriors and hunters. It would have been nice to also level up. But if I throw down my sniper, he does huge damage. He's got fantastic range. He can basically hit anything anywhere. Uh, with some nice tanks and that, that should go okay. If I had money left over, what I would have done is raise my XP. Because, again, that would have let me put more things in. But I'm happy about these purchases. We're going to have a fairly weak round over here, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, every time you lose a round... For every dude on the enemy side that's still alive, uh, they have a star ranking. So level one dudes that haven't been merged. This has nothing to do with rarity. That was something that um, I had to learn a little bit. Um, has nothing to do with the sort of t the cost slash rarity. But level one dudes are people who haven't been upgraded. We'll talk about upgrades in a second. Um, each one of them that is alive at the end of the board, and I'm not surprised that we're dying here because we don't have we don't have a lot starting. Um, they'll deal one damage to you. You have 100 hit points, and eventually you run out. If you have three copies of the same dude on the board at the same time, then they merge together into a single level two copy, which is considerably more powerful um, and takes up less spots, which is quite good. Um, no more hunters. I mean, I guess I'll pick up another tusk and another tiny, but I'm not, I'm not in a situation to merge yet. I will go ahead and level up and I'm gonna throw another hunter we need three hunters to be able to trigger the combo but at least we'll have a little bit more damage output over here i'm still expecting to lose a little bit early on and it turns out it's not the end of the world because early on um you know everyone you're facing is mostly going to be level one so you're not taking that much hit point damage and so the gold you get um a a after the first few rounds you get five basic gold every round you get a bonus gold if you win but then you also and it'll show up if you tooltip over here if you get on a winning streak you will get bonus gold every round as long as you continue to your winning streak um However, you can also get bonus gold for being on a losing streak. So you sort of don't want to swap back and forth if you can avoid it. Like, if you're going to lose, try not to lose as hard as this. This is pretty bad. But we're fairly well suited to maybe picking up some other stuff. And the other thing I have to be kind of aware about, and this is a lot harder while I'm talking. This is, this is going to be a bad game because I'm, I'm spending so much, like, concentration on the talking that I can't be looking at what's going on. I'm, I'm not going to be able to keep a really good count of all the combos that I've got built, unfortunately. Um, we can go ahead, we can get our third uh, Tusk, so at least we can get a level 2 Tusk. Tusk isn't great though, but it's still going to be something. So you see I put three Tusks out there, they merge together. So he's quite a bit stronger. I don't have any Juggernauts yet. He is another Warrior, and he's at least tier 2. It, I might want to do some, some Warlock or, or something later on, but for now we'll just do that. Um, I need 8 XP to get up to level 6, so you can raise your level. You spend 5 gold to get 4 XP, so right now if I'd spend 10, I would, well, I'd overkill it, but that would be okay. Uh, we might look into doing that next round. Oh, this guy doesn't have a whole lot uh, built up here. Now, it's worth noting that it's not symmetrical. I'm facing 3, 5, 1, whatever, whatever. If I go over to his board, he's facing... Um, uh, I actually don't know how I can tell who he's facing, but he's... I, I don't think he's facing me. We can actually see it right over here. There you go. He died to Skyscraper. Um, it's random who you face. It's not symmetrical. I think, in theory, there could be a random role where, uh, you know, I face Old Factory, and literally everyone else faces off against my characters. And it doesn't matter what my characters do on someone else's board, other than the fact that it'll do damage. I quite like the Night builds. Um, we've got another Drow. That's nice. And Beastmaster is a Hunter. Now, I like the hunters because mostly, like, they can be ranged, but also, when you get three hunters out, um, shoot, I'm not going to be able to here. Three hunters gives all hunters 25% increased damage. So, like, three warriors and three hunters is actually a pretty solid six piece. Um, the other thing that's nice is if you can get up, you get yourself up to six hunters, then it's an additional 35%. That's stacked, so it's 60% bonus damage all of a sudden, which is really tremendously good. Uh, so this round should go a little better. And we might still not be quite in a win. Mostly depends. This is a, oh, it's just a level 1 axe. It's not too bad. And actually, have we not gotten any items? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's some bad RNG. So when there's a fight against NPCs. So the first three rounds are against NPCs. And then every five levels is against NPCs. Uh, Slarder's quite nice, especially since we'll hopefully get a Naga later on. Um, there is... A jug. We've got two jugs on the sideline. That's not bad. Um, there we go. And I'm going to go and put you out. So we've now got three hunters. So the Beastmaster is a melee hunter type thing. Well, I mean, he's got a, like, a ranged special thing. But that's going to be okay. So i got three hunters. i got a slightly more um, upfront dudes to try to tank for my ranged guys who are a little squishier. 
Um, ooh, he's got a lot of guys out. A lot of leveled guys out. Now, one of the things I will say, if you start fighting, playing this game, uh, you may have some problems with cheaters. Um, this morning I ran into two extremely obvious cheaters back to back, uh, which has hurt my rank a, a little scooch. Um, what I'm worried about is I'll run into more subtle cheaters. And my, like, obvious cheaters, I mean, they start the game, they're instantly level 10, which is the max level, and they have infinite gold. Um, so that's pretty bad. There is a, um, Dota, okay, uh, you can, oh, there's Kunkka! Kunkka, really good. Another sniper, okay, hold on, I need to clear some shit out here. Um, I'm gonna sell you, pick up another sniper. Um... You know what? I mean, you're you're warriors, but you're lower tier. Actually, so is so are you, but that's gonna be okay. Um, Kunkka. Okay, let me pull you back. Let me put Kunkka on the board. Okay, try that. So Kunkka is a is a human warrior. He's got a really good ability with the ghost ship. Um, so he's fairly higher tier, like rare character. We're still not comboing much. Oh, this is level ten. So we're fighting against some NPCs here. Now, when you kill these NPCs, they can drop items. And this is one of the bigger aspects of RNG in the game. The fact that I haven't gotten any items. And the fact that I'm trying to focus... Ah, there's our first one! Cloak... Oh, and a Void Stone. That is interesting. So the Cloak gives you magic resistance. Void Stone gives you more mana for every attack. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pump up my Kunkka. Because I really need him to not die very quickly and also have mana as quickly as possible to drop his big giant boat. Oh, I was going to say, I might be able to sneak it in here. Um, but no. All right, that's okay. We'll have time. Um, Warlock, Warlock, Knight. Oh, Necrophos could do really good things for us. Um, we can get another Drow Ranger, but he's she's already level 2, and it might be a little hard to do that. Uh, this is a really awkward point here. I think I might not buy anything, and I might sell one to try to get the 10 gold for the next round. And the reason why... I should just sell these tinies. If I just stay with three warriors, that might actually be sufficient. And I can actually, I can either focus on getting a bunch more hunters. So I'm going to sell these tinies. Um, so by the way, you're, you play as this courier who doesn't do anything by itself. And you've got abilities to pick up chess pieces and move them. Uh, you can only do that during the prep phase. You can recall them from the board onto your reserve. Uh, you can sell them. You can also re-roll your pieces. You can also do that from this screen over here. Spend two gold to re-roll what's on the list. Um, I'm really tempted to grab this Necrophos here. And we don't have a demon yet. And three Warlocks, and then all of a sudden... I mean, I'd like six Hunters, but we could potentially go with three Hunters, three Warlocks. No, 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 that's fine. Sell, sell. Um, sniper, Wind Ranger. Uh, we're going to put out a Sniper, Sniper. That levels up our Sniper, which is great. Uh, we got a Slardar. Oh, we've got benched right now. I do want to pick you up, because um, Nagas have a really good ability. Two Nagas gives everyone on your team 20% magic resistance, not just Nagas. Um, and yeah, we'll probably, we're going to hope to get the um, um, the Medusa for, uh, she's a Naga Hunter, and that would be exceptionally good addition to the team. The other thing that would be nice would be to get a second Undead here, and that's one of the reasons why Necrophos is kind of nice. He's also an Undead. Two Undead reduces all armor for the enemies by five. If you happen to get four, it gives him another seven, so that's 12 less armor, which is a big deal. I wonder if it might be worth putting the Necrophos out. Because, again, that's one of the things I think about the Warlock thing. The thing is, I could just splash one Warlock um, for the just for the Undead combo. And that's probably a pretty good addition. Uh, I was going to talk about interest, but... Ooh, there we go. There's a third Slardar. So let's do this and this and this. Um, we're going to recall Axe. We might sell him. Because we've got three warriors. Tusk, which is pretty weak, and we'd like to replace you with a better type of warrior. Um, and Kunkka, who's really stupid good. So we got two copies of Axe. I think Axe is a... Yeah, he's just a tier one warrior. We will have to see. Oh man, it's hard to focus on this. Oh, did I already have another? A third Slardar. That, that's very likely to be happening. And very hard for me to keep count and focus while doing all this. Anywho, so you just go through round by round and try to do... Okay, the interest. Every 10 gold that you have in your bank at the start of a turn... You know what? Let's, um... Let's sell this axe. There we go. We'll earn you one interest. Uh, it caps at 50. So if you have 50 gold or more in your bank, you'll get an extra 5 bucks uh, every round. Which is really nice to build up to. Um... 
Well, there would have been a third axe, but well, okay. Here's the other thing: is the 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 pieces here? They come from a limited pool. I think for everyone, there's 20 copies of each dude in the pool. So if everyone's buying, say, axe, then you won't see axe show up very much. And I think for the legendaries, there's 25 of each, but they come up very rarely. Um, could I have leveled up? I can buy it three times with so an extra 12. Yeah, I could have. So it's too late now. I sh could have, and I should have. And I probably should have put in Necrophos to give the armor debuff. Because I'm all physical damage here, so removing armor would be really good. There's the ghost ship from Kunkka. Boom! Big AoE. Some stun dropping on on there. I bet you we would have won if we had the Necrophos out. We might still. Actually, it looks like we will. He's just got his level 2 Tinker. This guy is on a 10-win streak. Pretty good. Getting a lot of bonus money. And you can see the list of, like, how much damage everyone is doing over there, which is kind of informative as well. Um, okay, well, if I'm going Warlock Tech... Okay, there's another Kunkka. That's not bad. We can consider that. It means I'm not going to be able to rank up to the next one uh, right now. Do I want to make a change? There's three Warriors, three Hunters right now, which is okay. I really do want to get the next dude out. But I'll wait. At least I have. A, I'm gonna get one bonus um, gold here. But yeah, keeping a bunch of dudes like this is no good. I should really. I should get rid of the Wind Ranger. Yes, because if I'm gonna play another hunter, it's probably gonna be the Medusa. Oh, here this is another uh, um, just NPC round. The wolves are pretty brutal. They like to like they jump around like assassins. So assassins like to jump behind enemy lines and do huge damage. Um, I'm tempted to drop the items on one of these right now, but... Yeah, you know what? The faster you attack, the faster you can build up your mana. So, you build up... The characters have up to 100 mana. Their abilities cost 100. Um, they get, generate a little mana every time they attack, and they also generate a, a fair bit more mana every time they get attacked. Oh, come on! Does this count as a win? Nope. We did not count as a win. Damn. Um, okay, I'm not picking up Tiny. That's fine. Okay, none of these are great. I could do a reroll, but let's go and actually spend some money here. We're not going to get um, interest again, but we're going to put down the Necrophos. It'll activate the uh, armor debuff. Um, let me go and shuffle you around. The Necrophos is going to be a little squishier because he's only tier one as opposed to the twos. Actually... He's got slightly more hit points than Drow Ranger. Well, it's too late now. I can't move it around. Um, but yeah, this will activate the undead buff. So if I click on the other team, there we go. So they got horror minus five armor, which is very substantial. Especially with like our physical damage from the hunters coming back here. Bit of a stun there. Now it doesn't matter by how much of a margin I win here. It does matter like how much my if my other copies end up anywhere. Uh, there you go. Silent Ninja Snipe was killed by Old Man Reflexes. Hot and Witchy's on a 10 win streak. Wow. Disruptor's very good, um, but I'm not going Orc or Shaman. I'm tempted to spend a reroll here, but it, it would really work if we could get a little bit more gold interest. And we did just improve a fair bit by dropping the Necrophos. So I'm going to hope that we can uh, keep winning. We're on a bit of a win streak as a possibility, actually. The one thing with re-rolling is, like, I might get first crack at, you know, stuff that I'm looking for to complete my, my set. So, yeah, if you get three Warlocks, then you add Lifesteal, which is pretty good. Sometimes there's multiple Kunkas. So you don't know who's, like, Kunkas doing this stuff. But, yeah, that's, that's a pretty overwhelming win there. Excellent. Still gonna streak here. That's a level one like, and I can probably just sell you. There's another Veno, which I kind of like. Um, oh, you're not a beast. You are a beast, although Tusk is not very good. I guess I'll get you. It's making it a little harder because I was like, I I can sell the Lycan. Ah, who's a human beast? That's interesting. 
Yeah, if I could actually get the lichen in here, it'd be great. Because two humans can start silencing people. It's really potent. They have to be two different humans. So if I just put in a second Kunkka, that wouldn't do it. Really shopping for that third Kunkka. Get him ranked up. Although he's, all, he's already doing pretty well. Oh, how the deep ones will feast. Alternatively, we could just work our way up to level 8. If you hold Alt, you can see the actual XP count. So I'm at 5 of 24. So I can add another 12. Well, I'll get more gold in a second here. And yeah, your win streak, the amount of money you get from win streak goes up as your win streak gets more and more severe here. Uh, you, there is internal ranking systems here um, as you play more games. So like Pawn is the lowest, then there's Knight, and I think it goes from 1 to 10, and then you go up to the next rank, for example, um, until you get to like the Queen ranks, and I think then that you just get like world ranked at that point, which is kind of interesting. Um, Beastmaster really not doing much DPS. It's not a real surprise. Well, there's a third Venomancer. <laughs> um, which I will go ahead and merge up. Although now it means I won't get full money if I go and sell these anymore. Um, and the thing is, a tier 2 dude is really good. Is it worth losing the undead bonus? If we can get the Shadow Fiend, that'd be a third Warlock. Hmm... Hmm. Okay, I can spend... I can boost myself by 16. That brings me up to 22 experience. So that's not enough to level up. I'll get one... You get one XP every round. I'll get enough gold. I'll be able to do it, um... A fifth time. So that'll be 20 XP. Okay, that's probably what I'm going to do on this turn. I guess it depends on what I, I see. Yeah, we're getting a fair amount of money here. Like, if we, if we want, if we find people that will complete stuff we've got going on, we have to do that. We don't. Uh, knights are really good. But uh, we're going to be, I think, uh, even though I would like to save the uh, um, the interest, I think right now it's in our best interest, haha, -ha, to continue our win streak. And I'm going to go and put the um, the Venomancer in here. So we don't have the, uh, the Warlock, but the Venomancer will do good damage. It puts down these Plague Wards. Like, it's tier 2. Like, it's a level 2, rather. And a fairly high rarity tier as well. I wish the rarity was displayed on the character sheet somewhere. Because you have to start, like, remembering stuff. Like, oh, yeah, the Tusk is pretty... Oh, the Furbolg fight here on round 20, like, kicks my ass a lot. These things friendly, frenzy pretty hard. Plate Mail will probably give it to Kunkka. We really want him to survive as long as possible. Um, and possibly Vitality Booster. What sucks is when your Kunkka gets killed before he can get a lot of boats off. And I like to stack items on a dude. Um, I realize, like, maybe I'm screwing myself from combos. You can't take items off. Ah, uh, that's interesting. If we could get Sniper to rank 3, he would be a death machine. The problem is, it's really tough to do that. Because rank 3 is the highest rank you can get, but you have to combine 3 level 2s. So, that's... It, so it takes 3 level 1s to make a single level 2. It takes 9 level 1s to make a level 3. And meanwhile, you're filling up your, your stuff over here, not earning interest. I'm worried that right now it doesn't make sense to actually work you up to... Um, I think it makes more sense to try to complete some of my sets and level myself up personally than buy these dudes. And also earn the interest. I'm going to sell one for the interest. I'll probably sell more, but at least I'm at 10 here. Um, so I got this Slardar over here on the sidelines. Do I have one in play? I'm talking about, like, Nagas and shit, but... I don't remember. So Silent Ninja Snipe has been... Um, he, he's he's died. Skyscraper is probably going to die soon. There's another Kunkka. Excellent. Okay. That's huge. Hold on. First, I'm going to make sure to do this. And this. Merge you up. Excellent. Level 2 Kunkka. So I do have a level 2 Slardar, so I'm going to sell you... Um, Lycan's really good, and it would be great if we can get a level 2 Lycan to replace the level 2 Tusk. The Beastmaster we're still using right now as a way to activate the Hunter bonus. It'd be great if we could get him leveled up too, because he's pretty squishy and not doing very much right now. This would be our four, uh, third Warlock. Demons are interesting, they're a funky race, because you actually don't want multiple demons. 
because a single demon you do, does 50% bonus damage. A second one um, loses that bonus. Although a second one of exactly the same copy is okay. Yeah, we're sort of getting bopped here. And you'll, you'll see, things will happen in waves like this. You'll be in winning streaks and losing streaks. This is being particularly painful, though. Hmm. Uh, he's got the level 2 Beastmaster, that way I would like. Um, the other thing I can do is change my positioning and do different things like that. Beastmaster doing no DPS. Plague Ward's in there. Um... Okay, there's a second Lycan. Great to get you. Again, the game's tempting me. It's like, oh, maybe you want the sniper? Unless I just sell this one. And then I'll be up to 20 gold, so I'll get the interest, which is probably for the best. Yeah. Um, would a repositioning of some sort be helpful? I'm not sure. Kunkka's really good. I want to keep two warriors around to just to help keep Kunkka alive longer, if nothing else. See, these guys are, um, they're assassins, so they jump to the back lines and, like, take out your, your hunters or mages, you know, your squishy sort of back line people. Alright, you're down, you're down. Okay, we should win this one. Put those snipes down. Okay. This point, it's important. Like, ignore like losing streak bonus gold or whatever, or, or gold from winning. This point, we don't we want to win so that we don't take hit point damage. So uh, people clearly don't have much in the way of snipers, which is why it's in the pool a lot. Um, go more drow hunters. Again, it might be in our best interest to level up. I can spend five, so that's twenty extra. So that gets me to twenty-seven, which isn't enough. So I'm just gonna hold here. It'd be great if we could get if we had 30 instead, but I'm not gonna sell those. Um, I could re-roll. It's a little late now. I may have wanted to re-roll and hope that I could get a Shadow Fiend or a Lycan. It'll make a pretty big difference. Lycan to replace the Tusk, which is not very impressive. Shadow Fiend, we'd probably replace someone to activate the warlock bonus. The question is, do you lose the warrior bonus? Or probably, I guess. Rather than the hunter bonus. It'd be a little squishy, but. We're losing to Holland Midnight here by a lot. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Ow! 11 hit points lost. I'm still second overall, but this Holland Midnight is doing real good. Um. I could level myself up, but I would really prefer. Damn it. It's just that what I'm looking for isn't in here. Uh, I did it one too many times and lost interest. Um, crap. I mean, it's not really a surprise that the frontliners don't do as much damage because they do tend to die a little faster, especially when they're only one star. Necroface is a little lower level, but he activates more stuff. Okay, the Harpy level, that, that's, yeah. I really shouldn't have pushed too much. I should have gone for the extra XP, or the extra interest. Harpy level tends to be fairly easy. We've got a Mithril Hammer here. For more bonus damage. I'm going to go and put it on the uh, the sniper. And a vitality booster for hit points. We will figure that out. Um, Kunkka's full. There's a third Shadow Fiend. Awesome. You'll merge. Do I have enough? I'm just going to go and spam my buy XP. There you go. Ranked up to level 9 so I can have an extra dude on the field. I might want to reorganize this, but this is going to be okay. So now I've got a third, um, I've got a third Warlock. He's my only demon, so he's going to get his bonus 50% damage. And uh, he likes to explode into a huge AoE, which it was something I was kind of missing. I have the boat, which is an AoE stun, but I don't have much in the way of AoE damage. Lots of single target damage, but you really do want some AoEs, and at least this guy's going to be a start. Oh, I should put the Vitality Booster on him. I should have done that sooner. At least he got off his uh, Requiem of Souls, so at least there's that. But yeah, I want the Shadow Hunter to... Or, Shadow Fiend. Shadow Demon? Whatever, that guy. Big blob of clouds. I want him to be fairly survivable so that he can get off his ulti. Um, you don't lose your combos. Oh, wait, I want it. Lifesteal, Power of the Wild. Oh, we have enough beasts to activate the Power of the Wild. Wait. Really? Do you only need two beasts? Maybe you do. 
No, I mean, Omni Knight's okay, but we're not really doing knight stuff. I'll just wait and hold on to it. Um, so you're an orc. Tusk. Yeah, two beasts. Oh, and uh, Venomancer's a beast, yeah. So, attack damage increased by 10% for all allies, not just beasts. So it's a little like the undead. So now we have um, global increased attack speed, global armor debuff, and then the hunters do bonus damage for themselves. So keeping a third hunter around, I think, is really valuable just to enable the extra damage on the sniper and the drow, but I would still really like because the Beastmaster goes down right away. These guys still have their buff from the hunter, even though he's dead, but man, he is a weak part of the equation, especially since he likes to jump forward and then he dies right away, but I guess he'll, he'll soak damage for more valuable people. Not going to win this one, though. It'd be nice if you could direct people to, like, focus fire on things, but ain't going to be a thing. Oh, we got chicken there, too, which is pretty dangerous. I've got some some hex things going on. Uh, so we, that's our first, um, our first legendary, but we're not going goblin and we're not going mech. Would love a, a wind ranger. I mean, I would love another hunter variant something going on. This, it's worth noting, this is this is an elf demon hunter. Demon hunter is the class. It's not an elf and a demon and a hunter. It's an elf demon hunter. Demon hunters are kind of funky um, because having a demon hunter around shuts down the fell, like the, the, the plus 50% damage that demons do on the other side. If you have two demon hunters on your side, it actually enables you to always keep your, your fell bonus damage on your side. I feel like we definitely need some some more frontline stuff. This is um we're not we're not tanking enough in the front. The Lycan would help if we could finish him. Speaking of, there's another demon. He's really good, but it's not gonna work out for us. Um so let's get the Lycan. Here's the thing. I'm gonna this sort of sucks. I'm going to go ahead and intentionally lose the hunter bonus and instead have a fourth warrior. Fourth warrior doesn't add anything. Um, this does enable another human, which is really nice. Um, sorry, fourth warrior doesn't make it any better, but they do. All four of them do still get the armor buff. And this gives me a fairly stronger front line. So this is Hall and Midnight who's been crushing me. And I think I'm still going to lose to him. In fact, that might be the end of the game here. But it looked a little better. Maybe I was wrong about that. Oh, yeah, there's Dota Chess. I mean, we, uh... Failed, failed. So, we ended up... I don't know how it compares these. So, it looks like we may end up third overall. Which is nice, because that'll give us an extra candy. Candy can be used to purchase uh, different courier options. So, if you tab over, you just got the donkey. You've also got the donkey. The, uh, the, the characters grow in size as they're on a win streak. Um, oh, you've got your level 3 Beastmaster. Damn! Damn, that's nice. The Enigma, the Black Hole stuff is kind of nice. Level 2 uh, um, Shadow Fiend. Here's the thing. He doesn't actually have very many combos going on. I think he's just mostly going for high tier stuff. Um, he's got Hunter's Pack. He's got three Hunters in here. But that's it. That's literally his only buff. Is three Hunters. He might, it might be that just focusing on the higher tier stuff is the way to go. I like how we still have our old um, DPS information from last fight we were in, though. Anyway, that is it. I'm going to, I'm going to keep playing this. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll record another game too. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully no hackers in that one either. By the way, you can, uh, you can disconnect and leave anytime you want. Um, your ranking will still be updated. It might not be ref reflected in the, the next game you jump in to immediately. Um, but it will get synced. The person who wins it syncs up everything at the end and everything like that. Or the last two people, they sync all that stuff up. Uh, so your ranking will still be updated, which is which is cool. And you can see it's pretty quick to get into these games. And there is, I think, some sort of matchmaking service so that you are getting ranked against people with similar ranks to you. Thanks for watching, folks. Um, and again, Dota 2 is free to play and is amazing. It's the greatest, uh, well, Dota-like, you know, MOBA out there. And uh, it also supports mods, including mods that radically transform the game to be completely unlike what Dota is. Thanks for watching. See you next time.